Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome back to Infinite Languages. Today we are diving into the world of professions in French. Get ready to enhance your vocabulary and master the pronunciations of various exciting careers. But that's not all. We will also uncover the mystery behind masculine and feminine forms of these professions. Before we dive into the exciting world of professions, let's unlock the code. Professions, like many other nouns in French, have genders, masculine and feminine. Masculine and feminine forms can be as different as a croissant and baguette. So buckle up and pay extra attention. Let's break it down with some rules and examples. Our first rule is adding E. Generally, to transform a masculine noun into its feminine form, we add an E at the end. For example, le commerçant, la commerçante, meaning shopkeeper. Rule number two. If a noun ends in ER, transform it to grave ARI into feminine form. For instance, le cuisinier, la cuisinière meaning cook. Rule number three says, when a masculine noun ends in EUR, it changes to EUSE in its feminine form. Observe this example. Le vendeur, la vendeuse, meaning vendor or salesperson. Some professions perform a magic trick. Rule number four, T-E-U-R becomes T-R-I-C-E. For example, Le directeur, la directrice, director. Now, rule number 5. If a masculine noun ends in C-I-E-N, it transforms into C-I-E-N-N-E -N -E in its feminine form. Look at this example. Le musicien, la musicienne, meaning Musician. Moving on to rule number six, some professions have the same forms for both the genders. For example, le journalist, la journalist, meaning journalist. And finally, rule number seven, some professions exist only in the masculine form. For instance, le médecin, la médecin, meaning doctor. Voila, that's it. Let's start with the teacher, which is la professor in masculine form and la professor in feminine form. Now on to the doctor. Le médecin is its masculine form and le médecin is its feminine form. Do you remember the rule number seven? Moving on to the engineer, again the both forms are same. Longineer. Longineer. Say cheese to the dentist. Its masculine form is le dentist and feminine form is la dentist. Hope you remember the rule number six. Attention! Left, right, left, right, left, right. Yes, soldier. In French, it is le soldat for masculine and la soldat for feminine. For the curious minds, we have scientist. In French, it is le scientifique for masculine and la scientifique for feminine. Knock knock is the postman. In French, it is la facteur for masculine and la factrice for feminine. In the world of entertainment, we have actor and actress. In French, it is l'acteur for masculine and l'actrice for feminine. It's time to fly high. Say hello to pilot. In French, it is le pilote in masculine 
and lumpy load in feminine. Getting your hands greasy? Yes, I'm a mechanic. In French, it is la mécanicien in masculine and la mécanicienne in feminine. Which rule is this? Hands up and police. In French, it is la policier in masculine and la policier in feminine. Order, order, it's cold. For the law and justice, we have lawyer. In French, it is la buca for masculine and la buca for feminine. To the culinary word, we have chef. In French, it is le cuisinier for masculine and la cuisinière for feminine. Express your creativity with artist. In French, it is l'artiste and l'artiste. Both the forms are same. La 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 la. Who is singing there? La chanteur or la chanteuse? If you are happy and you know, then snap your feet with the dancer. In French, it is le danseur for masculine and for feminine, it is la danseur. Flying abroad, let's meet flight attendant. In French, it is la de bord for masculine and l'hôtesse de l'air for feminine. It's time to order food in French. Better. In French, it is la sarpa in masculine and la sarvas in feminine. Do you want a fresh new look? Let's take the help of hairdresser. In French, it is la coiffe in masculine and la coiffas in feminine. Bring your imagination to life with painter. In French, it is le peintre in masculine and la peintre in feminine. Let's connect with the carpenter. In French, it is le charpentier in masculine and la charpentière in feminine. And finally, for those with a passion for fashion, we have tailor. In French, it is la taille in masculine and la tailleuse in feminine. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to professions in French. Practice those pronunciations and don't forget the gender differences. Stay tuned for more linguistic adventures and I'll see you in the next video. Aviyanto, goodbye.